Trace Grant is live at the district's downtown headquarters with more on this. Trace, how will the district use the money? Well, Tara, they didn't tell me exactly how they plan on using it, but they definitely have a lot of options. One, they could just sit, put the money in their employees' monthly checks for child care purposes, or they could partner with an existing child care facility and use that, or even just build their own campus, their own facility right on one of their campuses designated only for Fort Wayne Community Schools employees. Now, this is the first time FWCS was able to, told me that they were able to provide such support to its employees. But they agree, and other business leaders say, that this will benefit the state's economy. Now, Indiana Manufacturers Association supports issuing the grants. The IMA's Director of Governmental Affairs, Sam Sharon, says it's backing the plan because the state cannot afford to lose workers due to a lack of child care. Indiana does not have the luxury of having that many new people come to the state. So you have to work with the existing population and get the people that are already here make it so that it is an affordable option for them to go and take their kids to childcare, whether that's at their place of work or at a traditional, you know, pre-K facility. Helping out with child care costs allows the state to indirectly push Hoosiers into the workforce by lowering a big barrier for many parents. The IMA also hopes to improved access to child care will keep Indiana's population from declining. And coming up at 10 p.m., coming up in our first at 10, I will break down a little bit more about how these grants will be distributed. Until then, live in downtown Fort Wayne, I'm Troy Grant, Fox 55 News.